Well, let's get going again. This is my fourth or fifth time trying to make this video amongst all these problems that I've had, but let's get into it. Let's talk about Chu Totao. I have this channel member named Bobby Reborn and he has been recommending all these various app reviews to me, you know, in, in terms of like content for me to make and do an app review on this and this and this and this. So let's talk about this particular app, Chu Totao, which is it basically translates into interesting headlines or fun headlines. It was started by this guy named Eric Tan, who's this like billionaire businessman and investor and whatnot. And he started up this company in like 2016, I believe. And it just shot up in value and became like this unicorn company. It's this private company that's valued at over a billion dollars. It got, you know, had this big IPO and it got listed on, you know, NASDAQ and all these other places. And it was a big deal for a while. Although, yeah, in the last couple of years, it seems to have kind of uh, decreased in, you know, the amount of daily users and things like that. And it's rumored to be in talks, like they're rumored to be selling off parts of the company or maybe even the whole company, though that's not really been um, confirmed or denied to my knowledge anyway. But it is backed by Tencent, which is a big deal. It's one of the biggest companies in China, one of the biggest tech companies here. And when you actually open the app, you can see right here that it's basically a content aggregator. It's a news aggregator and content aggregator. So you open the app and there's all these different avenues of content for you to explore just at your leisure. So let's get into the app and see what the user experience is like and if this is something that you will want to get into yourself. You open it up and then bam, you're instantly, well, whoa, okay. So a, a bunch of notifications just immediately pop up trying to get you to click on this. There's like, what, three of them? And then this pops up on the top of your screen and then you've got to X out of this. So immediately you get blasted with all these notification tabs and like this activity, this thing, this thing. And I noticed when I first opened it, when I opened it the first time, uh, like I've had all these problems. So, but when I, when I opened it the first time, uh, it immediately started downloading other apps, which I'm like, uh, I didn't say that that was okay, but it started immediately downloading other apps to my phone. I don't like that. And it wants you to link in your WeChat and like various other apps into this. And so it just seems to me, first off, that this is sort of a data grab, right? It's sort of a data grab. And, but let's, let's look at the actual app itself. Um, so first you've got suggested, you've got suggested headlines right here. Um, and at the top, it's got stuff about uh, these uh, European and Chinese, uh, the summit, like what's the future going to look like? It's got stuff about Xi Jinping. It's got stuff about, um, spring festival what's going to happen the spring festival and also you know it's got all these other things like share on your wechat moments send to a friend on wechat and this and that and then at the bottom it's got a thing where you can donate gold to this person and that's something interesting about this app is that is this little ask this idea of gold and this idea of getting gold so let's talk about what that is so when it comes to gold, you actually, if you go back to your homepage, when you go back to your homepage like this, there's a thing on the left right here that shows you all the gold that you have accumulated. So I have 10,464 little gold nuggets. And so you get these gold nuggets based on your interaction with news articles and the amount of time that you spend on the app. And the idea is for you to spend as much time on the app as possible, share as many articles as possible, leave as many comments as possible. And with that, you get gold and that actually translates into money. You can actually make money using this app. So you can keep track of your income and things like that. It, it's, a, it's an interesting idea. It's a way to kind of keep you in the app, but I, I don't, at least for me, the kind of person that I am, I don't think that this is going to be, it's not going to entice me to keep using it, you know? Beside your gold count, you've got next to it, the amount of gold I've earned today. You've got how many articles have I read today? I don't even know what Gen Con Gene is, but I feel like this is another, yep, this is another thing I have to, okay, so you have to sign in, you know, for seven days in a row, you get 10, 20, 40 gold, you know, each day that you do this, and it gives you tasks to do in order to get more gold. So you have to link in um, 
your you have to verify your identity you have to add in your family you have to do this and do this in order to get more gold okay so i i don't want to do that so let's go back out here so looking down here there are things like you can look at live streams you can play games it looks like um you can let's see do 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 Oh, there are free novels that you can read online, like eBooks. You can see your history of things that you've looked at, your favorites, your comments, your everything. So, um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot going on in this app. And if we go back to the main page of the app itself, so you've got the suggested things, and then on the left, you've got Guangzhou, which is your uh, follows, like the people that you follow, the content that you follow. I don't actually think I follow anybody but it's given me suggestions for people to follow. So there's things like, uh, whoa, what is this? Uh, some kind of, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. So it's got gaming stuff. There's stuff about, I mean, let's go over to the hot list, the hot topics right now. So the hot topics, I see stuff about Oh, okay. Let's see. Beijing girl. Some of this guy. It's about her, her in quarantine. Ooh, yeah. So you've got hot topics. Let's just click on it, right? And see, you click on that. It shows you that particular story that you've clicked on, as well as other stories you might be interested in based on the one thing that you click. So it's just this algorithm that just keeps showing you more and more things. So you read the article. You read the article. If you spend enough time on the article, see, you can see this countdown up to me getting a, uh, a red packet. So the, the more time that I kind of scroll on this page, show that I'm interested, and then it'll eventually give me a red packet. So this one's about Kobe, okay, whatever, whatever. I can like it, I can use to share it, and then bam, I've got 78 gold right there. And then if I click that, then something happens. Oh great, I've got 96. And then if I watch another video, then I get 50 more, and then that, looks and then it tells you the amount of money and blah, like it's, it's just it's all about gamifying your experience on the app so besides that um so you've got stuff about the coronavirus you've got spring festival you've got quote unquote interesting videos fun videos um, just videos in general you've got short videos beijing and more and more here i'm going to just refuse that okay so let's just go over to videos and this will be essentially like TikTok. So you start watching, well, I guess you can just scroll through like this. But I think the Xiao Shifu, this is just like, oh gosh. This will be just like TikTok. So you can just watch it. You can, you know, click like, you can donate just like that. Da 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 da. Like you can do that. And then just swipe up. Oh, wait, it's the same video. So then I can do that. And then it'll, you know, put all my stuff through the algorithm. And then I can just keep doing, oh gosh, okay. So we got we got a prank channel. I am not donating to a prank channel. Uh, well, wood chippers, frying shrimp, or little fish, okay. So, I mean, you get the idea, it's TikTok, it's TikTok. And then this, this is the task bar. This right here is the task bar. This tells you how you can get your gold for the day. So, you can watch short videos, you can sign in, uh, you can, let's see, go down here. So if you open this little, this little program, you get a bunch of money. If you open this little thing, you can get a, some stuff. If you, I mean, just basically if you do all this other stuff, open all these other little programs, complete all these tasks that you have every single day. Um, oh, and up here, yeah, watch videos, watch videos, watch videos, okay? And then you click this, and then I'm guessing watch an advertisement, and then you get, so you basically get the idea of the app. The app tries to gamify your experience consuming content online. And besides you consuming content, your likes and uh, engagement with videos benefits the creators. It's an interesting idea, but I, uh, I am a little bit uncomfortable with it, to be honest. All platforms nowadays do a similar sort of thing, but it's not quite as in your face, you know? You open this little thing, give permissions to this little mini app within the app. And then like the permissions involve giving over like an email or giving over this. Like it just everything they kind of they, they're building a little web of information gathering. And it's kind of it's kind of weird and it's sort of in your face. Um, 
I, I, I'm not a fan. That being said, I guess I do do similar things with other programs. I mean, I'm on all sorts of social media. I am sort of a public figure in a way. I mean, all, all of I'm on all the social media platforms just about except for TikTok. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it is it is weird. That counter around the, uh, around the Hongbao, the little red packet, spend enough time on this page and then boom, I get my goal. It's like, that's... Um, that's weird, but I can see people getting sucked into this. Like, I can see people spending hours and hours a day just on any type of downtime that they have just on this app, just so that they can maybe get a couple of yuan. And what is interesting, and I think what has sort of led to the drop off in their monthly users and daily users is that the content, at least that I was looking at, the content's not that compelling. It's not that interesting. I would rather get on Weibo, for example, or I would rather get on Twitter. I would rather get on any other type of social media to get my news, uh, you know, or Baidu. There's another one called Jinju or Toutiao, which is, which is a better aggregator. Um, I'd rather get on those because um, I, didn't, I didn't find this content very interesting. But what is interesting is the fact that there are so many types of content available and China's really good at this. It's like creating these super apps where it's almost like one stop shopping for content. WeChat is very good about this. You have these little mini programs, you can play games, uh, you can read this, read that. And, th and th this app does a pretty good job with that as well. Um, there's a lot to it and I mean respect respect but it's not personally for me and if you're not someone who can read a lot of chinese like even some of these things like i can like i can understand some of these things like right here uh la wai di sichir beijing shua yang ro blah 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 like it's got all like i can read a, a lot of these things but um you know when i see really specific headlines dealing with political things or things that are not in my vocabulary range even i can't understand some of it um, and I've been here forever. My Chinese is pretty good, although mine's more spoken and listening based than reading. So, well, my bad. And yeah, uh, that I guess kind of concludes my app review. I don't even know if this was an app review. It's just a just a kind of walkthrough of my first impressions of this app. So it is kind of unorganized. Uh, I don't really know how I wanted. I didn't really know how I wanted to approach it, but there it is. <laughs> there it is. So yeah, Bobby, there you go. There's a look at Chu Totiao. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope everybody else enjoyed it. So thank you all very much for watching. Uh, you know, become a channel member so you can maybe suggest a few videos or just if you feel like supporting the channel, great. I've got Patreon or you can buy me a coffee. That's all fine as well. Um, or if not, just live your life, you know, just live your life. Uh, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Thank you.